coming up on this edition of Gridiron Sports Talk. We hit the gridiron and talk about Casey Martin, the first special needs disabled uh, or despite his disability golf uh, or golfer. We talk about his life, his tribulations, and his uh, willingness to succeed despite his challenges. All that and much more when we're on the Gridiron next with Gridiron Sports Talk. Stay tuned. Welcome to this edition of Gridiron Sports Talk, the one and only program that focuses on abilities in sports despite your challenges. And we're on the Gridiron talking about Casey Martin, um, the first... Um, the first real golfer despite his challenges. Um, so let's begin. First of all, I would like to thank our uh, partners in this, Orca Media and many others, including the Division for the Blind Vermont and many others. Um, Arlene's not here today. Casey Martin. This is coming from wikipedia.org, www.wikipedia.org. And we'll show you pictures um, you know, courtesy of Golf Digest, we'll show you some pictures a little bit later on in the show. Um, Casey Martin, born June 2nd, 1972, is an American professional golfer and the current men's golf coach at the University of Oregon. Martin was born, Martin was born Eugene, um, at, Martin was born in Eugene, Oregon, and still resides there. He was educated at Stanford University, where he initiated where where he was uh, initiated into Sel into Selma Chi fraternity, and was brief and was briefly a teammate of Tiger Woods. He was a three-time All Pac-10 and was a member of the university's NCAA championship. In 1994, he won the, um, um, in 1994. In 1993, he won the Salahi Players Championship and turned professional in 1995. Professional golf career. And as you can see, um, his um, stats here on the side of the page. Um, in 1998, he won the he won a Nike Tour, later being named by www.buy.com Tour, National Tour, and Web.com Tour, and now and now Corn Ferry Tour, K O R N. Uh, Tour and the <clears throat> and the Lakeland Classic in a playoff, thus assuring himself and remaining on the tour the following year, securing a five-year exemption from the first qualifying round, qualifying a uh, qualifying round, a qualifying sc school or Q school. In 1998, he attained. A career highlight, finishing tied for 23rd at the U.S. Open and briefly contending for the lead before falling back. In late 1999, after finishing 14th on the Nike tour of, of the Nike Tour money list, Martin secured a spot on the PGA Tour. He finished 179th on the money list. And in 2000, and failed to keep his card through the earnings of the PGA Tour <clears throat> and the PGA Tour card holder for 2000. He began at the final stage of the year's Q School and narrowly failed to keep a spot, finishing tied for 37th. Um, and top of the qualifying ties, uh, 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 making him. Hold on. Um, 
rescue, uh, making, uh, putting him to the Buy.com tour. M Martin kept full, full status on the Nike tour to, till 2003, but failed the Q School finals in 2003, um, making him limited to the 2004 tour a year, <clears throat> a year uh, playing nine tournaments. In 2004, following the expiration of the five-year exemption tour and the five-round Q school, he, advan he advanced um, from the first to the second of the three rounds, but no further had limited status in 2005 playing nine tournaments on the tour, making two cuts and five events in 2006, making the cut once. For a, turn a total earnings of $1,228. Um, on June 4th, 2012, Martin qualified for the, for the 2012 U.S. Open Winning a sectional of the Emerald Club of the Emerald Valley Club. Personal life. Martin has Kippe Turne syndrome, which caused a birth defect in his right leg. In the PGA Tour, Martin successfully sued the PGA Tour in 2001 for the right to use a golf cart. During the competition, under the Americans with Disabilities Act, during that year, the, <clears throat> the suit wound up through the courts, and he, he enjoyed limited success on the golf course throughout, and he was permitted to use a golf cart. In 2019, while attempting to retrieve a garbage can from the street he lived on, he misjudged a step between the street and he that was under construction and his his curb breaking his defective leg. He took a medical leave from coaching during the Ducks Fall 2019 golf schedule with assistant Brand, Brand Brad Landing over taking over when he returned to campus on the spring season, which was ultimately shortened due to the, to the coronavirus pandemic. During his condition, <clears throat> it has, because of his condition, it has prevented a fracture, it has prevented a, his fracture from properly healing, and he, uses, he now uses crutches returning to campus. In, 2000, in 2020, March 2020, interview with the Register Guard, a daily newspaper of Oregon's home of Eugene, um, Martin said that he was the prospect, he was the prospect <clears throat> of losing his leg. I was grateful and able to hold on to it for a long time but um, but it would not happen at 27, not 47, but it has happened. I'm just going to do everything in my power to save my leg. He added, and he had considered an amputation, recognizing that prosthesis would enable him to walk without pain if noted. If I lose my leg, it would be above. It would be an above the knee deal, and it would be pretty risky due to my situation. It's something that I have recognized that that it could happen, but I um, but really could not. If I can save it because of the risk and. Long, of a long time interview. Martin was scheduled to 
Let me go back. Oh, here we go. Golf cart. Oh, hold, oh, hold on one second. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. Happened at 47, but if it happened, I'm just going to do it in my power to save my leg. He added, consider, he actually considered an amputation, recognizing that a prosthesis would enable him to walk without pain. But noted, if I lose my leg, it would be an above-the-knee deal, and it would be pretty risky due to my situation. It's something that I've recognized that could happen, but it, it really could rather not. I, I'd rather save it, but because of the risks at the time of the interview, Martin could, was scheduled to travel around Washington State to be fitted for a special carbon fiber leg brace that can potentially redirect his body weight and would, would be allow the fracture to heal. In October 2021, Martin underwent successful surgery to amputate his right leg. His doctors believed that the surgery went well enough to allow him for the future use of a prosthesis. Now, according to um, some wins and losses here, uh, January 11th, 1998, he won, he won the Nike Tour, uh, the Nike Lakeland Classic, winning score, minus 19, 60, uh, 66, 69, 65, 69, and 269 at one stroke. And the runner-up the runner for this was Steve, Steve Lemon, uh, uh, Lemon Joan. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, uh, the names are hard. <laughs> um, and uh, the Nike Tour playoff... Um, the Nike Tour playoff was 1999 uh, number one Nike Cleveland Open, and the opponent was Mike was Matt Gogol, and um, Casey Martin lost to Eagle on second second extra hole. Uh, as a result of the major championships, the tournament. Uh, 1998 to 99, 2000, 2001, 2003, 2004. So as you can see here, and according to web.com, the, the top results are here on your screen. So I'm just going to scroll down quickly. Um, down here. Now, the coaching career of... The coaching career of... Um, Casey Martin. In May 2006, Martin was renamed head coach of the University of Oregon men's golf uh, team in the team of Eugene. After working as a volunteer assistant during the 2006 season, he was he has indicated, and he hopes to continue play where it fits in of his coaching schedule. However, he did not play any professional events or attempt Q school in 2007 or 2008. In Oregon, he won the um, NCAA Division of Men's Golf Championship. So l let me see about um, any more pictures. Of, or his coaching career here. Let me see if Sports Illustrated mentions Casey Martin. Oh, here we go. 
Sports Illustrated. Casey Martin is the most courageous man in golf, and no, and no one even comes close. The latest turn of Martin's story is not the end. Um, so, despite his um, to his uh, syndrome, a Tyranny Weber syndrome, a degenerative circulatory disorder that <clears throat> atrophied his leg and made it difficult. So if you want more information on um, Casey Martin's um, life and times uh, in sports, uh, when it comes to golf, you can go to www.si forward slash golf news Casey Martin. That's www.si.com forward slash Casey Martin. Casey Martin has always been an overachiever in the game where no one else has even the physical talent alone. However, if you're measuring sheer strength and will and size of his heart, Martin stands among golf's giants. He's 49 years old. Martin dragged around a right afflicted leg uh, with, with um, the syndrome he has, a degenerative circulatory disorder, the atrophied leg, and made it difficult. And years went by, increasingly painful and dangerous to walk. Um, last week, Doc, uh, well, uh, this is uh, going back a couple years. Doctors at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota amputated his leg, uh, the most controversial leg, amputated the most controversial leg in golf. The surgery took Martin's leg above the knee and as first reported by Golf Digest. So if you want more information on his um, condition, you can go to www.si.com golf news. Um, now, what I wanted to say as part of this uh, commentary uh, for Casey Martin is that you should never be afraid to um, go for the gold, as they say, in terms of um, going into sports. Uh, Casey Martin is one of those stories similar to my wife. Uh, my wife is an amputee above the knee, and, um, you know, despite her challenges, she's a, she, she'll be able to persevere and keep going. Um, Casey Martin is one of those people that, um, despite his challenges, he's able to keep going. Um, I don't want anyone in this audience to say that they don't even try. There are some people in this um, world of ours, because uh, it's a global situation, there are some people in this world of ours that don't even um, try. Oh, they say they have a disability and they don't even try to even work or even go in sports or even try anything that is a challenge because they say it's too hard. Let me tell you something. Um, there, Jim Abbott, there's um, Casey Martin, and there's many, many, many others, including people in the Special Olympics, that get up in the morning and try their hardest to, um, to keep going and go for the goal. Um, you know, you should never be afraid to try. Um, I don't want to say that laziness is a disability, but come on, people. There are people with no legs that... Um, that do the Paralympics um, and go around the track. And you don't have to come in first. You don't have to come in second. You can come in 18th or 19th, but you have to try. Um, the saying for the Special Olympics, if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. And... Casey Martin is one of those people that despite his challenges, he's able to persevere. 
Okay, so you're not a millionaire on the baseball diamond or the golf, uh, 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 or the golf course or the, the basketball court. You're at least trying to make a living and you're trying to persevere. That is the point of the, the um, commentary here and, you know, people like my wife, people like Casey Martin and people like... You know, and many other people who uh, really try in this world and um, try to persevere. They don't, it, it's called, uh, there's a Spanish word, I bendito, means, it means don't pity me. Um, this is not crying uncle here. Many people in this world really try and um, really go for the gold, and I give them. Um, I give them many, many, uh, you know, prayers, and the, and we all must persevere. And so, if you want more information on Casey Martin and his life, you can go to www.si.com. Sports Illustrated um, has um, the story of Casey Martin. Um, check out Wikipedia and other uh, websites about his life. This has been. Uh, Green Eye and Sports Talk, the one and only program on Orca Media that focuses on um, life and sports dis despite disabilities. We all should have abilities. Stay on the gridiron. Stay tuned for more Green Eye and Sports Talk at www.orcamedia.net. I'm Lauren Seiler. Stay on the gridiron. See you next time.